I'm here in San Diego at the medical offices of Dr. Stephen A. Brody, who is a leading male fertility doctor. And uh, Dr. Brody, uh, men that are wanting to have children often have a lot of questions. And one common question that they ask is, why is male fertility decreasing? Well, it's remarkable. There's an increasing rate of infertility in men, and more dramatically, there's actually a decline in sperm counts and an increase in the number of abnormal sperm counts in men. And this is a dramatic finding. We now know for the first time why, and it has to do with our environment, our diet, and our lifestyle. Just to make one simple point, I was in a meeting with a colleague of mine, Dr. Wilshire, who practices in mid-Missouri. And he lives in a very um, placid, very pleasant, calm environment. And he shared with me the dramatic increase of abnormal sperm counts that he's seen. And of course, the most direct correlation was the fact that the, that the majority of his men lived in areas where there was an intense amount of farming involving the use of fertilizers and pesticides and fungicides and other toxins. So it's very important to understand the four basic reasons why sperm counts are dropping. The first is because we're deluged in sugar. The fact that we're all consuming such incredibly refined, high carbohydrate, high glycemic diets is leading to a massive amount of oxidative stress in a person's body. And they're not just getting heart attacks, and cancer, but they're also getting direct effects on the seminiferous tubules that make sperm cells because of all this oxidative stress, the formation of reactive oxidative species. That's number one. Number two is the fact that we're totally consumed in abnormal, artificially created fats. Trans fats and saturated fats and a variety of vegetable fats that were never consumed in the Paleolithic man, never consumed really until the last 10,000 years of human civilization, and really maximized only in the last 70 years. So for the first time, our bodies are being exposed to these very abnormal vegetable oils and very abnormal trans fats and carbon-6 saturated fats that are having a direct effect on the membranes of the sperm cells. What's the third cause? The third cause is the fact that we're deluged in what's called xenobiotics. We are deluged in toxins. Even the air in San Diego, 5% of the air is micronized tire emissions from, from rubbing particles from the tire tread against the, against the curb. 5% of the air are micronized tire emissions. We're being deluged in fungicides, pesticides, and herbicides. The cleaning fluids we use at home, the chloride, the, the, the chloride ions that we're getting even in our showers if we don't use chloride filters. So we're being de deluged in toxic substances that have a direct effect on the testicle in the seminiferous tubule in making abnormal sperm cells. The fourth and final area is the stress. I mean, the stress has a direct effect on cortisol levels and insulin levels leads to insulin resistance and the production in the cells of the body of a massive arcade of cytokines that directly impact on heart disease, cancer, and male infertility. That's great information. Well, Dr. Brody, thank you very much for giving us that information. If you're somebody that's out there, if you're a man that's out there that's looking to have children and increase healthy sperm counts, uh, go to Dr. Brody's website and try Proceptin, which is one of the best products on the market, the best supplements for male fertility, and that's www proceptin.com, which is P-R-O-C-E-P-T-I-N.com. Dr. Brody, thank you very much for your time. Nice to chat with you.